Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back. If you're new, please do hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And hi everybody in the chat. Go Eagles! <laughs> so if you're new, uh, welcome. You can join my channel if you want to get, well, I offer early access, but lately I haven't been very early with publishing these videos. So my apologies to those of you who are channel members. Um, we getting the videos out kind of late, but with that being said, you can still join and also you can join for 99 cents as well. Um, so just click the join button. So just be mindful. These readings are general love readings. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take a fits, leave the rest. This is for Virgos only. So if you're Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this will be for you. And so we are now at the end of October. It is the 17th and we're almost out of Libra season going into Scorpio season. So yeah, let's see what the remaining messages are from October 17th going into November 17th. We're gonna take a look at like from today and a month going forward. All right, Virgo, let's get into this reading. And everybody, welcome the new mods. We've got some new mods here. Okay, engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. You have mask. Oh, okay. Stabbed in the back and girl talk. Okay. Well, overall, the message here, it feels like these are two messages. So I'm going to start with girl talk and stabbed in the back. I feel like... Some of you have some time that you spend with friends. Um, yeah, the first thing that's coming out is you've got some people, some friends around you who are either gossiping or talking some, you know, just not being very nice. I feel like that's a message. Some of you might have a hunch about what that's about. Um, there's some people saying some stuff, maybe it's work colleagues. There's this little bit of like, just talking behind your back. Um, people you might think are your friends or one particular person. Um, I don't know. I, f I feel like th just be careful. Uh, maybe there's a friend that you had in the past or that you have now that you guys aren't talking right now because that person stabbed you in the back or you feel like, you know, it doesn't have to be a friend. It could be anybody external to you. Um, but it, it feels like a friend. So, it, so in other words, it's, it doesn't feel like it's a romantic partner, but it is someone um, and it feels like it could be a sibling or work colleague or a friend or friends there's just some shit talk going on here and I was trying not to say the s word but hey it's me um you also have engagement ring and a mask so I feel like there's someone on the love front who has deep true feelings for you but they are hiding it like this person wants commitment they want partnership with you um you might just be like I see question marks above your head I don't know who this could be. I feel like there is somebody here who's hiding their true feelings. They wear a mask. Okay? They wear masks. And for some of you, this could have something to do with Halloween, too. Someone hiding behind a mask. But I do feel like whoever this person is, and we'll go more into the reading to try to figure that out, they want union with you. Like, they either they're around you now or you will connect with this person going forward where this person like either there's an engagement like happily ever after kind of energy like you, you some of you could be meeting the person of your dreams you know but it's kind of like you I just feel like you're not gonna really know you know what I mean like you so I feel like someone could actually pop the question or make a statement or somehow sh you get like a either an intuitive knowing or you find out and you're like surprised by this for some this is like i've always wanted to be with you i'm hearing i've always wanted to like i wanted you to be my life partner 
you know, you, I just, <laughs> you complete me. <laughs> that kind of union energy. Okay, let's take a look and see who this is. Let's try and find out who this person is. Okay, all right. These two cards just, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So this person is watching you. They're stalking you, but they're kind of doing it in the background. With that Nine of Wands, feels like they have boundaries up. They're not showing anything. Sometimes this could be the wounded warrior. This is someone, maybe you were connected with them before. And they're like battle-torn, battle-worn, battle-weary. Okay. This person has learned from their past failures, gathering their strengths right now, watching you, planning. Um, they don't want to fight. This person doesn't want to argue, I'm also hearing. Um, they're being patient, but I do feel like they're watching. They're very curious about, you know, what you're doing or if you are, you know, moved on with somebody else. If you are, I'm just seeing something to do with an engagement ring and hiding that. Okay. Now, maybe some of you are engaged to somebody else and you've got a past person here who um, is curious. Maybe you might not be showing it. Or you're hiding something about that for some of you. Okay. So this person comes across as very single, single as Pringle, very independent. They don't have anybody else around them. Um, this person also, so if it's a male who's interested in females, they have the opposite sex who has stabbed them in the back, something along those lines as well. Um, they might have just wanted friendship with them, but that other person did something shocking to them. Okay, that's just the energy I'm picking up. And this person is truly like on their own. Okay, on their own, financially stable, secure, not with anybody else. No one else is connecting to them. They're not really connect. No one's significant is what I hear. I feel like this person has their eye on you. They're watching you. They're curious about you. But they're kind of like, I don't know, hiding behind the bushes watching you. <laughs> they could be maybe watching you on social media. And I know some of you are like, oh, I have people blocked. But they, either they're making fake accounts or they're somehow watching through mutual others. Or they make, you know, somehow they see. They're just, if they don't see anything, they're looking. They're looking to try to find something. Seeking answers. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. So I'm going to tell you so far, we have Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius. Yeah, this person is sneaking. They're sneaking behind the scenes. They're hiding in the bushes. Just somebody hiding in the bushes, Virgo. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, they're going to make a break for it, though. I feel like this person is going to show themselves sometime between now and the 17th of November. Let me just take a look here and see. Okay, they're hiding behind work too as well. But I'm just picking up this energy of patience, okay? They know, I feel like this person knows or will come to terms in this, this month period, this 30 day period that whomever they were connecting with before is is or was not right for them. I feel like this person, their focus is solely on you. But they're hiding. They're not they're not out right now um saying or doing anything. They're they're just kind of spying and sneaking. Okay, let me see. They're also lying about work or working. I don't know what how that might resonate. There's an energy of like this person's supposed to be working, but even when they're working, they're sneaking peeks at you. Interesting. So the Ace of Cups here. So there's somebody here, like a potential new start, new beginning with someone here. Definitely. This person, I feel like as soon as the time is right, they want to make a beeline towards you. 
Okay, have a, have a new romance, new a new love start here. Okay, now they have foresight. <laughs> I feel like hindsight has caused them to have foresight, if that makes any sense to you. Um, I feel like this person is making plans definitely to come your way. They want to give you all their heart, all their love, everything that they have. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So first court card we have showing up here is the King of Cups. So this person comes through as a water element, although they might not be a, uh, of that sign. They could be. They might be any other sign. But the energy, because we have all the elements within us, but at different times we come out with different elements, maybe with different people, like when we're on the job, maybe we come out more with earth element um, in romantic relationships, maybe in feelings more of the water elements. Um, when we're hiking, we got more of that fire element. You know, um, when we're studying and doing our taxes, we have that sword element you know so because we engage everything at different times so this person as far as a romantic relationship is coming through with the water element very deep deep feelings for you this person shows up very mature compassionate calm caring friendly this is how they're going to show up but understand very deep feelings but it's not the knight of cups it's more along the lines of like the King of Cups energy, just you never know how they feel about you because they just don't wear their heart on the sleeve. But when they speak, they do speak in watery, fluid, emotional ways at times. But mo even if it's peppered in there in some way, this person, though, they're, they show up very romantic and charming. So and for some, it is a water, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this is an energy of like this person is ready for the long term okay and when it comes to engagement if you're already involved with this person they might be waiting for you to ask if you're if you want to like you know get engaged or get married or turn this into more well i don't feel like they might be i feel like they are if you're already involved with a water sign okay male or female energy okay this person <laughs> So interesting, Three of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So I feel like this person is very isolated from people right now. Friends, Three of Cups is friendship. Friends, others, the opposite sex, dating, socializing. This person's all up in their head, feeling trapped. They feel restricted, backed into some kind of corner. Could have something to do with the girl talk and stabbed in the back. This person finding out that perhaps if you were involved with them before, that and that ended and they went to others it's not working out they, and they know it and they realize that they're kind of like paralyzed their hands are tied behind their back they can't make anything work outside or external so for some this could be um a little bit of a like oh well what's virgo up to um starting a little bit of a comeback around from this person but not direct just yet. This is more along the lines of like just seeing. It feels like a circle back around kind of energy to see if you're available, to see if, if you're ready to take it to the next step with them or if you've already taken it to the next step with somebody else. A lot of that energy playing around. Yeah, circle back around. So reconciliation as well. Okay, I'm seeing Aries energy. Um, yeah, coming in very innocent, playful. Um, the past. So if you have, if if you had a connection with this person in the past, the good times have a, a which would be a past influence, are having an effect on them right now. Okay, so I feel like if there was any kind of betrayal or anything that might have happened in the past 
um, that something ended or what have you, that has faded away. I feel like there's forgiveness, but I also feel like now just remembering all the good times, kind of being a bit nostalgic about the connection that you that you had with them. And if this is someone that you're currently connected with, Virgo, um, it kind of feels to me like there's a lot of playful energy. I feel like if you're connected with this person right now, they're either waiting for you to make a move or have that conversation about moving things to the next level, whatever your next level will be or would be at this time. All right. So there's definitely um, a spying energy going on throughout this time period, this, you know, the end of October into the middle of November, maybe the third week of November. Let me see. Oh yeah, here comes the Page of Cups. Communication for sure. An apology for some of you. Trying to make that reconnection again with you. This person has a crush or admires you. And like I said, for some of you, you might not be, this might not be a past person. It could also be, might not be someone you're currently connected with. This energy, I know a lot of you will listen to the, when I start the reading and say it's not my reading. Well, this is a bit predictive because we're going into November, October through November. So for some of you, this may not be somebody you know. This could be somebody that kind of like, maybe you don't know them, but they know you. And... They're go they want to ask you out. They want to connect with you. This person's been through the war zone with relation romantic relationships in the past and we either stabbed or betrayed and, and there's something, a separation or heartbreak or something happened to them. Um and I don't I just feel like they have their eye on you. Um, or they will be having their eye on you if you connect with them on a friend base, friend level. And kind of like checking to see and getting to know you or to see if you're with anyone so they can make their move. So for some of you, this is like an invitation as well. You'll be receiving around this time um, to do something fun. Also to connect with you. Some of you may have known this person in your past when you were like children, but maybe you never dated as well. That energy could be for some of you. Okay, now we also have the King of Pentacles. So, okay. oh, and the King of Wands. So, okay, you have a few suitors going on here, Virgo. Male or female energy. You have a few suitors, definitely. You might be in the process of deciding between two people and you've got uh, someone else coming in either trying to reconcile or someone coming in that is thinking of you or wants to see if you are available. There's two fellas here. So there might also be competition. You might have some competition here for um, other two other people competing for your attention. Let me see. There you go. <laughs> That's it right there. The conflict, competition. So for some of you, that is going to ring out, ring true. Um, <laughs> gosh, Virgo, I don't even know what to say. Territorial energy. It feels like overall, Virgo, there's definitely like some energy flowing towards you where, you know, when it rains, it pours. I mean, just a whole bunch of dry days and all of a sudden thunderstorms. It's the most severe thunderstorms. You know, nothing going on. Your phone's dry. Your text box is dry. No one, you're reaching out. Nothing's happening. You're by yourself. You're not talking to anybody. And then boom, all of a sudden this energy shifts. Okay. And we are definitely in forward motion from that Mercury retrograde now. It has the post phase post shadow phase has passed and now we're moving forward here oh boy a whole bunch of cards flipped out what do they want to say oh my goodness juggling your opportunities because you can because baby you're a star <laughs> you've got you've got a little juggling going on here virgo you're gonna have some decisions to make 
you know, because I feel like you're going to get quite a few opportunities coming in because you look at you, you're sitting here with that star energy, inspirational, you're very positive, or at least you may. So I just feel like that's how you're being viewed, honestly, like you are, I don't know what you're doing in your life at this time. If you're doing that level up or you just, I don't know, it, it, for some, it's just an energy that's like the light. The stars are shining on you and oh I just what's that song? Look at the stars, look how they shine for you. Um who was that group? Yeah, I can't remember because if I try to pull something up immediately, I can remember stuff when I was like three years old, but if I gotta pull something out of the vault like from just instantly, forget it. I need passcodes. I got to go in and try and like pick the lock. It just, the stuff doesn't come to me right away. But I think if you look up that song, look up, look at this, look at the stars, look how they shine for you. Yeah. Like every star in the sky and every star in the, in the space right now is, is shining on purpose just for you. And I feel like you're being viewed that way, but and not just by one person, but by others. And if there's this competition or this, some person sees that there's competition for you, that is also causing this, you know, revisit kind of energy or causing someone to be incredibly interested in you. <sighs> yeah, two of cups. Wow. Love connection being made for sure during this time period. Let me see what your love messages are here. What are your love messages? So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We do have Gemini, we have Aquarius, and you know, did I see Libra? Oh, you guys, huh? I did not, wait, don't tell me. Is it possible that I would have called every sun and not Libra? Some of you might be like joyful to hear that. You guys, there is no Libra here on the table, okay? You have every sign here except for Libra. So that Libra might be gone and you guys are like, nope, that's it. It's done. Don't want that person back. Okay. And for those of you hoping for a Libra, well, maybe it'll happen in the next reading, but this, there's no Libra showing up here for you. So, but you do have others competing for your attention and, and another person who's interested. Oh, wait. Yep, and another person who's interested, who's watching you to see what you're all about. Curiosity. This feels like a singles. Okay, but... All right, let me see. So I don't feel like you're going to get a proposal in this time period, okay? From the 17th of October through November. 17th, I don't feel like there's going to be a proposal, but I do feel there is going to be some type of a reach out, um, a love reach out, possibly an apology or someone coming in here. They're totally hiding their deepest feelings. Let me see what the love message is here. Balance, one person giving too much in this relationship. So Virgo, some of you, have just like taken your power back. You're not over giving, you're not under giving. You're just, you know, you're in balance right now, which is really good. You're A lot of you are just like, you know, what's meant for me will be for me and what's not won't be. And you're accepting that. And that's really just the best way to live your life. If it's meant for you, it'll come to you. You know, don't try not to stress yourself over things, the things that you don't have, because it's just wasted energy, you know? Um, enjoy the things you do have and the things that come to you in your life. So I like this. If you haven't gotten to that place yet, that's definitely a tool to work on. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So some of you are employ employing the forgiveness tactic. Some of you are like, you know what? I forgive this whole situation so it doesn't keep me stuck anymore. I haven't forgotten it. But I know forgiving myself for participating in things that, that, you know, you wanted, but probably weren't good for you. Um, you're forgiving yourself and another person, which will help you move forward and embrace the new. 
So that's a, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pro forgiveness, I, I think. But you get there when you get there, you know. Sometimes you got to, like, work on that every day. Sometimes you got to remember and put that into practice. When you get triggered or things bother you, you got to just get into, oh, I, I'm going to forgive this person for why? For because they don't know what the F they're doing, right? And then getting to a place of acceptance. Everything happens for a reason, okay? So this feels more so than anything like advice for you at this time. Get into balance. If you're over giving, pull your energy back and put that towards yourself, okay? Um, over giving isn't going to do anything except leave you drained. Um, so that's not a good place to be over giving. No one ever, I don't think anybody ever says, oh, hey, give more love and they'll love you back more. No, that's actually quite the opposite because then you become maybe too needy um, or too clingy, you know? I mean, I think that the only over giving of love that's ever necessary is for an infant or for a baby. You can't over give love to a baby. Um, <laughs> And you certainly don't want to be giving, over giving your love to an infant adult, because then what the heck is going on? That's weird. Um, save your over giving, your over giving love to the baby, to the child. Uh, no, not to any adults, you know, um, because that, that is just, it doesn't work. If you've been doing that, forgive yourself for that. Move forward with, you know, change that, redirect that energy into yourself and accept. Okay. Sometimes Virgo, it's just a matter of saying to yourself, okay, things don't work out. It is what it is. It's fine. Everything happens for a reason. Let it go and keep moving forward. But I do see some drama happening here. Sometimes letting go and getting into balance, forgiveness and moving forward brings you know then you you display a different kind of energy when you do stuff like that and that tends to attract people more so than before let me see okay free yourself there's the message take back control of your life so it feels like the strongest message for you during this time is focus on self forgive yourself Get back into balance. Accept where you are at this time. Accept everything as it is, as everything happens for a reason. Free yourself from the bondage or any kind of um, restriction that anyone has put you in or that you've allowed someone to put you in. And take back control of your life. And watch how things change, Virgo, when you start doing that. I promise you, the minute you... I'm not even talking about taking physical acts of walking away. I mean, when your energy shifts and you're no longer giving energy to other people, places, and things, like it, energy is fluid. Uh, well, it's not fluid. It's, it's transcendental. It's transitive. So people can feel when you're not giving your energy to something. Isn't it interesting how nothing can feel like everything. And I'm, I'm telling you, when you pull that energy back and you just say, you know what, moving on, letting it go, and you just forgive and you just pull that energy back, then everything shifts. And if you don't believe that, that's fine, but try it, just try it. I'm sure there's people here in the chat that will tell you, no, that's absolutely true. I have experienced that in my own personal life many, many years ago. The minute you you just give up, you surrender, you wave those white flags, and you're like, you know what? Have You have it. Go ahead. Have it. <laughs> just take it. Then everything comes back to you. The minute you give up, the minute you surrender. Okay. Yep. Unrequited love. So some of you just need to get in this, this space right now to accept that maybe there's just not enough to keep a particular relationship going. Even if your heart wants it, you may have to, like, I do feel like in order to get yours to free yourself and get yourself in a position 
um, to let go, you kind of have to give yourself the facts about situations and people and certain relationships. Like you have to look at the facts. You can't look at what your heart wants because your heart is always going to fool you and is always going to try to find a way because love does that. But it doesn't work if the other person isn't doing it. So getting into that position of saying, you know, it wasn't meant to be. Everything happens for a reason. Move on. Then all this energy comes flooding back your way. It's just the way it works. What you choose to do about that is up to you. Okay. But you want to get yourself in a position where you can open your heart again to give and receive the highest energy of all. It doesn't say open your heart to give the highest energy at all. It says give and receive. Reciprocity, very important in a relationship for it to work. Okay, let me see Chinese sign. Let's see what, I'm going to look at you. What is your Chinese sign, Virgo? A little more specific as far as your reading goes. Okay, some of you might be a dragon. Year of the dog. Year of the goat. Year of the ox. Okay, we have double dragon, a snake, rat, pig, rat again, goat again, and a rabbit. Okay, and if I didn't call your Chinese sign, don't worry about it. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. Let me see. What other messages does Virgo need to have from... The time period of October 17th through November 17th. Okay, so negative thinking and a lustful, fiery spirit. Those are your Achilles heel, <laughs> Virgo. Negative thinking and a lustful, fiery spirit. Be careful that this energy doesn't trip you up, okay? Be wary of this. That lustful, fiery spirit is great. But that could get you into a lot of trouble if it's for anything other than, well, lust represents sex. I, I don't know if you can really lust over, I don't know, pizza. I know someone in here in particular, and I'll say any names, could lust over pizza. But I, I feel like that's more along the lines of physical pleasure. Be very careful because that will trip you up if you indulge in that. Uh, with people who could actually harm you and be careful of any negative thinking that you might have stop it in its tracks you can't stop yourself from thinking negatively but you can stop the continuation of it that's the practice so you know if the thought comes and you 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 notice that you're having a negative thought then you need to counteract that the antidote the antibiotic for that is a positive thought. Okay, that's how you change those brain waves. Also, twin flame. Communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for a twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another, even when times are tough and seen back and forth. This love was meant to be, and for some, it's time to reconcile. So for some of you, this is a twin flame. Reconciliation coming into union again, but it's not going to... I really don't feel the only way you can accept that is if you both have healed and gotten into a better place and you both let go of the past. I know some of you, that's a difficult thing. And some of you are like, no, 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 uh, just bring me a soulmate. Just, just bring me the pizza delivery guy. I'll, I'll take that person or <laughs> just bring the pizza. That'll be my soulmate. I get it. I get it. Um, but for some of you, this is a twin flame connection here that is trying to work. Universe is trying to, is putting you guys through stuff. And it's awful. It, it feels horrible for some of you. Okay, some of you are going to be learning a new skill during this time period. Could be a work situation. Some of you might be going back to school or collaborating or um, improving your craft um, focusing on quality over quantity. So a very good distraction for you. And okay, there's a popular social female in your life or will be coming into your life. This person, very self-confident, very self-assured, bit feisty, 
um, bold, charming, and courageous. It's going to help you get through some kind of struggle that you might be dealing with at this time. And I feel like this might be more along the lines of a friend um, or a, non a non romantic partner, is what I should say. Okay, let me see what your charms are here. I'll flip these over so you can see them. If you guys want to get this deck, there's a link in the description box below um, to purchase my Moon Pie Tarot deck. Okay, so you've got lipstick and, oh, a dove. Crazy, I, I was just talking about a dove today in one of my classes that I teach. And we were talking all about the dove as how the dove is the messenger um, was used in a biblical form to go and um, find dry land, okay, connected to like, you know, Noah's Ark, that whole story. And the dove was sent out to go find solid ground. Um, I feel like this is a message for some of you who are seeking solid ground at this time. Could be maybe you're buying a home and you're seeking a place to live. Um, or some of you are there's a message, either you're receiving a message or you're sending one about someone. I feel like someone's offering an olive branch, definitely, or an apology of some sort, okay? Now the lipstick, some of you might be, maybe you're putting on lipstick right now or you're changing your lipstick shade with the seasonal change. Some of you might just be looking or shopping for better lipstick or just looking for your lipstick and others might be designing or creating some cosmetics or working in a cosmetic field as well. Some of you might be looking for some makeup for Halloween, okay? Now, the first thing that fell out here was the dolphin. So I don't know if you're dolphins fans, um, maybe some of you might be dolphins fans or you see something to do with that. The dolphin is kind of like an angel. Um, of the sea and I feel like at least that's how I see them it's kind of like their rescue they save they protect so I feel like that's very symbolic that you are safe you have been saved um, or you have guidance or you have others or angels looking over you watching out for you and you also have a key with a blue heart so I feel like there is an energy of someone being very sad in their heart um, they got the blues and the only way that they can unlock their hurt and pain is by giving you the key. They want to give you a key to come into their house and, you know, it's very symbolic, come into their house and heal their blues. Okay. With, you know, it's like a love key. And for others, there is, okay, someone just said, Someone is receiving a key on a street. It's called Cobalt Street, C-O-B-A-L-T, Cobalt Street, they just said. Cobalt. Hmm, okay. Cobalt Street. Um, I think, you guys, I think that's gonna be it. That was not too long. Um, so I'm gonna leave that reading there for you. I hope that that, I hope that brought you some guidance to some degree. Um, I think I might go live one of these days during the week to do a reading rather than real late at night. Um, I might do it instead of, or I might just add it as a bonus. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a reading that will have an extended. Most likely, if it does, I'll leave the link for you to go over to the extended reading. But basically, yeah, this is going to be it for you. And I will leave this here. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening and an awesome day. And I will see you all next time. All right, you guys. Go Eagles. Bye.